best. And now Bonds again, surging forward to Lutton. Back for Bonds once more. Two tackles there from Manchester United going in on Billy Bonds. And uh, will it be a throw or will it be a free kick? Whatever it is, it's to West Ham, it's a free kick. Coleman with the free kick for West Ham. Hit lower this time. Lutton, a chance to chest it down. He'll cross the goal. There was a deflection there too. And certainly the chances in this uh, opening five minutes or so have gone uh, Bertie Lutton's way. One or two little moments when the goal has opened up before him. Billy Barnes doing the work for two men there. And Graham going hard on him. But Barnes beating him off and beating Willie Morgan off. And beating Young off as well. And then finding Coleman on the right. Now it's with Pat. Lutton won't get to that one. Well, Pat Coleman will, trying to turn it through. And there were certainly plenty of West Ham men up there. It just needed a touch. Good long throw there by Patton. Holton was really stretching for that one. Best jumping well for it. Billy Bonds. waiting in the middle, still with Makari. Back over his own head, and Day has got to come for it, fought it well. Taylor's gone up, with McElroy going back. The crowd are giving West Ham all they can. Bonds tries to get it, ahead of them. Yes, what a finish it was. Uh, the West Ham manager, Ron Greenwood, said afterwards it really was a triumph for West Ham spirit. I'm not at all sure that he was entirely happy with the technical aspect of that game, but it really was a bit of a cliffhammer, a hanger, Malcolm Allison. Yes, I thought that uh, it was a really entertaining game. You know, I mean, I, I, was, I really enjoyed it, and I'm sure that everybody there enjoyed it. It was a very difficult place, a very difficult pitch to play on. You know, it was very lumpy and bumpy and, and probably never suited West Ham. But... Uh, they battled away, and I thought that Billy Bonds was really tremendous yesterday. Does, isn't that sort of spirit of Billy Bonds, is that infectious? Would that run right through the West Ham side yesterday, do you think? Well, the way he played yesterday, it had to. Uh, and this does, definitely. I mean, when you get a player play like he did, you know, where he's determined, but here he is now, you see him in the middle of the park. You watch the way he picks up, and he really runs at, really runs at the United defence, lays the ball out to the left-hand side there. And you see him get it back here again, look up again, and then play another ball with his right foot. Very accurate ball in the box. And then this ball's knocked away again, and you see him up in the air competing again. He's had the ball three times in about five seconds. There's a situation here developing where the ball will be crossed into the box, and you'll see the excellent marking of Billy Bonds. There. Now, he's in the six-yard box, and he's, and he's within a foot of ground. That's, that's what they call marking. That's good marking. There's a throw in here, Padden. You see Padden pointing to Morgan. Morgan turns away to the referee and Patton throw, takes the throw. You see Holton here get up and knock the ball away, doesn't really get it away, knocks it up fairly high, and you see best challenge for it, and there's Bonds again, number four, waiting, and he really hits this with his left foot. You see Houston turn his back, and you see Holton turn their backs on that ball, but it goes in the bottom corner of the net. That was a bad defensive play by Manchester United. Look at that enthusiasm of those West Ham players around Billy Bonds. 